president of the United Minibus Union, Ian Andrews, is up in arms against the decision of the government to refer to the normal amount of passengers in minibuses. Andrews, during an interview with this newscast, said he's not in agreement with the move since the COVID-19 numbers continue to rise. I don't understand this at all and I'll never agree to it. There need to be uh, less bus in the bus. We, we would have said, you know, these people have a tendency to coming up with figures. You said 75%. What is 75%? We need to talk to our people in simple language. Because the Guyanese population, especially the drivers, they're very good drivers and conductors among those persons that are behaving out of order. But when you talk about percentage, Guyanese are bright enough to calculate 75% how they see it. We need to use simple language. You must have social distancing. Three in a bus is back to Nobel. People are packed together like sardines. There's a plethora of complaints coming in from very prominent persons about the treatment they're getting in these buses. The bus people don't care a damn. The buses are packed. Most of the persons don't even wear masks. People are talking about as long as they wear masks. Who monitors that? Andrews feels more persons run the risk of contracting the virus with this move. You know, I do not agree with it. I know the persons that I would have represented uh, in the transportation sector may take umbrage to what I'm going to say now. But when you have a pandemic, a pandemic that seems to take now, now a second wave, where they, the big metropolis, among others, decided that they have to shut down this, decrease uh, you know, the movement of people, among other things, it is preposterous to hear, I haven't read it, that a government or an agency, it might be the COVID-19 task force, has decided that everything will be back to normal. It means that we are living in a society that seems to, you know, thrive on madness. Andrew said, as a key stakeholder in the public transportation sector, his union was never consulted. They have COVID protocols. Right, that the World Health Organization would have put out. I would have thought the ministry did it when they were opening schools, they had discussion with the stakeholders. It is the Ministry of Business Consumer Affairs Department, the police force, uh, the United Minibus Union, and we sat down to work at how we can deal with this thing, knowing that you know children could be a little irresponsible and like packing up. I thought when you're making decisions that impact on a nation. You need to call in the stakeholders and talk. Not when you, you wake up, you see um, some thing in an official gossip. A lot of people can't even read the official gossip. They don't even know what it. You've got to talk with the stakeholders. There must be stakeholders consultation. I think it might have happened sometime in March. Since then, I have heard of no stakeholders consultation. You need to talk with the, the principals so that you can arrive at a workable thing for your country. Prior to the announcement, minibuses were carrying just about 75% of their capacity. But from December 1st, the COVID-19 task force reverted to the old system of 15 in a bus, with all the operators having to comply with the COVID-19 guidelines.